Uh, it means that we'll take uh, Mark and we'll take Ethan and they'll uh, compete this week and I'm going to play them both. So regardless of who goes out first, um, you should plan on seeing both of them in the game. Is that just kind of continue the competition, let, let them show they can do it in a game? I, I think the, that and the fact that uh, neither one of them have played enough reps here lately, so conditioning would be an issue. Uh, two little bit different styles of play, which together I think will be really good. So let's tag team it, and then as we go through this off time with Luke, we'll figure out what's best. How are those styles different? Uh, you have a young and experienced guy and a guy with experience. You've got uh, kind of a bull, uh, real quick, sudden, explosive guy in Mark, and then a guy who's a do right, really good technically, fundamentally in, in Ethan. One guy stronger than the other, all those things. So, how did Mark handle when he, I guess, lost the job to O'Day there on, at right guard? I think, uh, like anyone, was disappointed at first, and then you recognize that you've got work to do. And if you're a real competitor, you, that's what you do. You just go back to work, and he's done that really well. What's the loss of Joker? What are you missing with him? A lot of experience. Uh, a really good player. I mean, uh, you could argue that he's been the most consistent, solid guy for us uh, through five games. So uh, you're losing experience, you're losing consistently good play. And so we'll just make up with those other guys and move forward. Did what the, the four to five week prognosis, did that, that surprise you? Was that a little more than you thought? Like? Well, I mean, this, it just happened. And so I think initially everyone should think that way in regards to, okay, where's this at? And let's find out how the rehab goes and, and all that. He's doing fantastic already. Uh, so we'll see, you know, as we get down the road, the truth kind of comes out after some time. You, he's posted in several different spots across yeah. the line. Where is his best fit ideally now, and, and, and what, do you, what do you look forward to seeing him here? Well, right now it's left guard. And, and so what do I look forward to seeing him is doing right and learning to play in the NFL game. Um, my expectations are actually very, very high for him. I don't look at him like, a, oh, he's a rookie, this or that. He'll have some issues, but the football player he is, the brain he is, the way he competes, I expect good things. How rare is that? I mean, a guy who could, I guess, who could be a fit at all three spots like that? It's really why we took him. I mean, we said that when we drafted him. You know, we thought he was the most valuable guy in the draft um, because of his ability to have played so many positions at LSU, and, and it certainly has paying off for us right now. Is he still the backup center then, or do yeah. you? How nice is it to be able to have a guy that started all year at that position it, now available? It's big. You know, there's, let's like call it what it is. In this league, you have to have enough experience and enough savvy to go out there and perform. And whether it's on the road or at home, it doesn't matter. Just the fact that you've been in there doing it. And so my expectation, just as I have high expectations for Ethan, what he brings, I want to see Mark's experience and his ability to go play in, in, uh, in this league. Big picture, what's kind of stood out about the group as a whole through five games? They're improving. Uh, each week, it's gotten better in some facet. I did not like all the two yard runs two weeks ago in LA, but I like the protection. I like the numbers of how we handled pressures and stunts and all that will be tested again this week. Um, and I think you look at guys like Jermaine, you look at O'Day, you look at Britt, and of course Luke, all those guys really starting to get solid and then um, we're getting better at left tackle. And so you just want to continue to clean that up. What specifically has O'Day brought to that group? Leadership, uh, a sound mind, meaning he's on point with his assignments. He's able to direct us over there. Uh, Justin's kind of running it, but O'Day is a nice voice to echo it, and he's done a nice job with that. What did you know about him uh, when you guys were kind of looking into him in pre -agency? I remember him in college, so a guy who we thought was a little tight and stiff in the lower body and struggled with some things power-wise, but a good brain, good length, and the fact that he's been around this league for five years is showing. Uh, with Ethan and Mark, who goes into the tournament, who goes in when uh, the uh, We'll do that this week in practice, you know. Um, they're battling every day, and uh, who, when we get to Friday, whoever's really kind of had the best week, meaning most successful is they're consistently right, and whoever does that will go out first. Maybe this is put, looking too far ahead, but would the hope be that one guy wins it, wins that job and becomes the guy? Sure. I, mean, I think you always want that with offensive line play. You know, you'd like to have cohesiveness. That, more than anything, I think you're all aware of it. We're certainly aware of it. When you keep them together, they play together, they grow together. And at some point, they have their breakthrough. And uh, we're on the verge of that. And here we are with another issue. But I think this time, we're more equipped to handle it. Anything else, guys? Thanks, Coach. Thanks.